never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and today is the third episode in my spring cleaning series. So first I'm just giving you an overview of what we're working with, um, all of the befores so you can see the super satisfying afters. So I also want to mention the first episode in my spring cleaning was a deep clean and declutter, reorganizing, rearranging of the kitchen. So make sure you check out that one. And the second episode was a spring clean and decorate with me. That was also just really simple and beautiful and fresh looking. So make sure you check those out. I will have this all linked in a playlist. And today's episode, we are doing a deep clean and major declutter and organization of all of the bedrooms. So I hope that this video gives you tons of motivation and let's just take a look at what we're working with before. Today's video is kind of all over the place because I'm showing you like real life cleaning. I am taking down the curtains and stripping everyone's bed because I'm in a rush here where I need the curtains back up for nap time and I need all of the linens ready for bedtime as well. So that's why you'll see me go around to all of the rooms, take down the curtains and strip the linens. So many of you have suggested Betty's bedding and I'm really looking into it because the boy's bed is just a pain in the butt. <laughs> The last time I did the boys room, I got a lot of questions as to why there's still a changing pad and that is because we still need it on occasion for our middle son and I don't plan on getting ready, rid of it until it's time. I picked up these curtains from Walmart um, yesterday when I filmed this video and I just feel like they worked out really well. They're super inexpensive. I also got this new sheet set for our bed it's pretty, but in my opinion, it is not very comfortable, so I don't recommend that.
Finally, we're going to start off in Ella's room and I'm just decluttering all of her clothes to start. Um, I decided to just go ahead and do the decluttering first. Just go through each drawer, put everything in a bag, and then after that we'll organize each individual drawer. But I put everything into a bag and then I ship it off to my sister's house for my niece Scarlett. Um, she usually winds up using all of the clothes that are too small on Ella and then my sister gives them back to me because we are currently trying to conceive our fourth baby and um, you know it could be a girl so until then I'm gonna hold on to the other clothes <laughs> Going through the bows is always really hard for me because I absolutely love all of them, but Ella is not really into wearing the wrap around bows. Like she'll wear clip-in bows and um, she wears my headbands. So if any of you know like any cute bow shops, let me know in the comments. I'm looking for like pigtail bows, like the little bows that clip in or really cute kids headbands. But um, this is all the stuff I'm getting rid of and giving to my sister. I did save my favorite bows, which are the bee bows, um, in hopes that maybe one day she'll let me put the wrap headbands back on her. I always get questions on this headband stand, which is actually a jewelry stand that I got on Amazon and spray paint it. So if I can find the link, I will put that in the description box below. I always link everything in my description box. So if you're ever looking for a product that you see in my videos, I really do try to link everything there. And if it's not there, just shoot me a comment and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. But I do try to link everything for you because I know when I watch other people's videos and I love something, I always check their description box to find out where they got these things from.
Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Now that her drawers are done, I'm just heading over to her closet and decluttering a ton over there. I decided to hang up all of her dresses and just fold all of her tops and put them over in that drawer as well, um, just to make it a little bit easier. And she honestly doesn't have an excessive amount of clothes right now just because she's been growing out of everything. So I just feel like this way everything is super easy to find. It is just about nap time, so I'm putting on Ella's second set of sheets onto her mattress, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hang up a blackout curtain that I previously had on her window, just for the time being for her nap. We are heading into my room next, and I'm decluttering a ton of clothes. Um, you get to the point where you know, like, wow, I haven't worn this in a really long time. The hardest thing for me to get rid of is like shirts that have little funny sayings on it or things that people have sent me or bought me. Um, I recently, in this video, got rid of a ton of pajamas, which is something that's usually pretty hard for me. Uh, I just got rid of so much and when I get rid of things, I first give them to my sister who lives next to me. She goes through them and then she gives them to our sister who lives a little bit further away and her and my mom live together and they kind of go through it so I kind of just disperse my clothes throughout the family um, I do also like to just be very like honest but a lot of people will send you clothing too and um, so that's also why I get like so many things that I'm able to share with my family and also to donate
Okay, now that my clothing is decluttered and organized, I'm heading back into Ella's room after her nap. I'm just rearranging some things. I'm putting her lamp over here. I'm taking something off of her wall. And then I got this little thing from Ikea um, that you could like hang plants on and things like that. But I saw that Caitlin Nyer used it to hang her daughter's dresses. You know that I love displaying Ella's dresses, but I usually just do them on her bookshelf. Um, but I decided that I wanted her own little special dress rack and that is going right over here um, just to show like whatever pretty little dresses she has at the time. So right now I'm just putting her Easter dress up there and here is one of my headbands that she wanted to put on and I just can't get over her sweet little curls. So anyway, we'll get back to that and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. But I'm also headed back into the boys' room, hung up their new curtains and now it's time for me to dust their um, ceiling fan. Um, we really want to redo their rooms completely, but we've kind of been waiting because if God does bless us with a fourth child, we're thinking about changing out some rooms in our house. So I'm like itching to really redo their bedrooms, but at the same time, I'm kind of just waiting to see and decide what I want to do with all of the bedrooms. The last time that I made the boys bunk beds, you guys were feeling bad for me how hard it was to get up on that top bunk and make that bed. And so many of you said, just take the mattress off. So I went ahead and did that this time. The same thing that I always tell you guys about cooking is that although sometimes you just want to cook and get it over with, if your kids want to help, you got to let them because we want to raise them to be people who cook and people who clean. So um, I always let them help me even though sometimes it makes the process take twice as long. It's a really important life skill. Um, I don't ever want my son to show up with his significant other saying, my mom always did my laundry, my mom did this for me, and I don't know how to do anything myself because personally I would never marry somebody like that. <laughs> Okay, so Ella's curtains are officially dry. I'm hanging them back up and then we're gonna finish up her room, um, her closet, all of that. I'll show you everything. But again, those real life moments where when people think that I'm just cleaning and uh, my kids are nowhere in sight, they're here. So I've always loved this little, it's like a drying rack or a scarf holder um, from Ikea and I always put the kids stuffed animals in there for every single baby but right now it's not really making sense for us so I'm just putting all of Ella's stuffed animals into this little crate over here. Also, I just had to show you this. I bought this for Ella when she was like a newborn because it was my favorite game ever growing up. I don't know if anybody remembers this game, but it's the best game in the world and I cannot wait to play it with my kids. Finally, I'm just tidying up her little blankets. Um, I still am too... I don't want to say like a bad name, but I'm still too worried to let her sleep with the blanket. So I'm still using a sleep sack. She is 18 months old. At what age did you let your kids start sleeping with an actual blanket? Okay, back into the boys room. This is like their own personal little junk drawer with so many random things in it. So I'm just cleaning that out. Then I'm going to do their undergarments drawer their shirts and their pajamas. Um, 
yeah, I just feel like they needed a huge declutter. I could barely fit anything into their drawers as they were, so it felt really good to take care of all of this. One thing that I learned throughout this process that I realized that used to be one of my rules that I'm not really following anymore is the one in, one out rule. And every time you buy something new and you're going to go put it away, you have to take something out. And also that was Carter just showing me a flower that he drew for me. He's so sweet. He's getting so into drawing right now. He's four years old. But anyway, when you get something new, you got to take something out. If you're trying to be a minimalist like I am, maybe when you get something new, you should take two out. Who else is annoyed that my shirt is tucked in in the back? Because I'm annoyed watching this and I wish I could just go through the screen and untuck my shirt. But my pants are a little bit big on me, so every time I bend over, my shirt goes inside of my pants. Since I'm in here, I'm just going to start the cleaning process in this room. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe everything down, vacuum and mop, and then I will do the same for Ella's room. You can see I kind of have the same kind of thing on the side here, um, like I have for Ella's dresses, but I put whatever like holiday shirts the kids have. So, you know, right now I have their St. Patrick's Day stuff out. Ella does have a St. Patrick's Day dress, but I was just too obsessed with her Easter dress, so that's why I put that one out.
Everybody's like us When people see us, they know uh, I feel so much for you That I don't know what to do Cause someone was before you And someone let me go This time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now Better now But will you let me down? But will you let me down? special I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions but somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy I thought I better lose in front of me I was looking for a remedy I thought I better lose in front of me yeah. bags of clothing it blows my mind so now we're moving on back into my room I'm just doing some things that have been like just left undone for too long like for example I have two plants that I never planted and I got them on Valentine's Day so it's time to finally plant these poor plants I think my palm tree is this even a palm tree I don't even know what this is I think this tree um, this plant oh my gosh I can't speak today I need more coffee um, needs some more soil so I have to get some more soil for it um, and then I also have this other little plant that I have no idea what it's called but I'm obsessed with it and I love it so much
finally I'm hanging my curtains back up and then I'm going to go ahead and dust my fan change out my bedspread and by that point I'll remember that I have a second plant that needs to actually be planted By now you can probably tell that I do love fresh flowers and fresh herbs and plants in my home and I mean by now if you've been watching my channel um, and I just wanted to let you know that in the spring cleaning um, series we're going to also be doing our outside so we're going to do out back and just like plant all of our things and clean up our backyard power wash all of that stuff will be involved in the spring cleaning series so make sure you stay tuned for that i'm so excited to get back outside i'm still very new to planting and gardening last year i was successful with tomatoes zucchini squash peppers um, blueberries strawberries um i think that was it did i say tomatoes tomatoes so this year i'm going to try to plant some more things and see how it goes so stay tuned if you want to see how that is She's a roller coaster. I'm going back into my closet just to try to organize my bags. I don't have like a ton of bags, but I like to save all my little bags and my overnight bags because when we do go on vacation every summer, I like to pack things in like categories. So that is why I'm trying to find a way to fit all these bags up here. But also I'm very short. I'm only 5'2", so it's hard for me to actually reach up in there. I need like a higher ladder. So it does look better than it did. And last but not least, we're just going to slow it down here and wipe everything down, vacuum, and mop.
This next song is beautiful in my opinion, so I'm going to stop talking here. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on.
So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In March, I'm doing videos every Sunday, Thursday, and Tuesday. I should have said Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.